Chris has always been like a little brother to me. Okay. And it's crazy that what I was the guy like that right? hosted him on his <laughs> recruiting trip when he committed to Texas Tech back in 2011. And I'll be that same guy that's helping him prepare Go! for the NFL 2017 Pro Day coming up in March. And hopefully this may lead to him landing in training camp somewhere after the 2017 NFL draft. So you're flying up, bring your knees up. That's what it is, your knees up. Yeah, they're too slow. Your knees ain't up. You gotta snap the knees up. It was at this moment Cole knew he messed up. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the pack cracker. Oh, you did it. You did it. I got broke one. Now we're doing the rabbit. Cassie, you're the rabbit. Raise your hand. That's the rabbit. Chris, you're chasing the rabbit. Cassie, right here. You're in front of the bench. Chris, you're at the end of the bench. Right there, Cassie. Look, we're starting right here. Okay. Knee drop. Arm. Get out. This ain't nothing to you. There's nothing to you, Chris. Go. Chris with the case. Go. Paparazzi coming into the store. <laughs> One, you're probably going to be watching your carbs throughout the day. This is going to make sure that you don't deplete your glycogen and burn off muscle. So you're going to be doing this like I like to drink some during my workout and then the rest of it right after for post with protein. I would still take protein. But anytime you're doing high intensity, especially like your hit cardio that you do, I would be making sure you have that. I would do either the stance line or the BCA sport. The main difference is just flavors. It just comes down to what flavor you like best. Watermelon is my favorite of this one. Pink lemonade and that one tastes like lemonade from Chick-fil-A. Like seriously. <laughs> Mr. Hyde is 432, if I'm not mistaken. 400 plus milligrams of caffeine. And I don't think it's a bad blend by any means. It's, it's a very popular pre. But for some people, one, it's too intense. And so you have to go lower caffeine. Like for me, I don't like that much caffeine. This one's your dad's favorite. He puts, he puts all your guys on this one. But my favorite is the Pro 7 because this one has a little more protein. It's 34 grams. You can take that post-workout. You can take it before bed. And you can take it in between meals because it has whey, it has casein, it has egg. It's going to digest, you know, some quick and some... Vitamin, your essentials, fruits, greens, certified organic. Since, you know, you want the best, always. Your protein that'll work for post-workout, it'll work for bedtime, slow release. You get carbs, you can either take them pre, intra, or post. I would take a little bit intra and some post. BCAs during and hide to get a kick in the pants to get before the gym. The rules of metabolism are to eat with breakfast within an hour of waking up and then maintain every two to three hours throughout the day you're just eating. Then your last meal would be your protein before bed because that has a lot of casein so it's gonna release really slowly. I personally recommend slow carbs with your meals like breakfast, lunch, dinner, let's say oatmeal, sweet potatoes, brown rice. So steady, steady release carbs to make sure your blood sugar is not going crazy high or crazy low. Um, obviously protein with every meal in the morning, fats for energy, um, for lunch, dinner, snacks, veggies, uh, lots of good fats. <laughs> let's say let's say a cheat meal a week. <laughs> Everything in moderation. With God is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. It's game time, amen. It's game time, it's game time. Lights, camera, action, watch.